it's Molly Miller. And in this video, I'm gonna highlight the difference between acoustic and electric guitars and which one would be best for you to get started. We'll talk about what you can expect as far as ease of play, music styles, application, and we'll hear some examples of what each of the instruments are capable of. I think the question most people will have is what's easier to learn on? It's not always a clear cut answer and really comes down to what you wanna get out of it. There are a number of things to consider in making this decision, so let's walk through the main differences between acoustic and electric. First and the most obvious difference is that one of these types is electric and needs a cable and some sort of amplifier to create the sound. And the other you can pull out of the box or case and start playing right away, after you tune it up, of course. So that's something to consider. Where will you be playing the guitar? Are you able to be loud or do you need to keep the volume down? Is playing around the campfire a thing? Do you want to be a rock god or goddess and turn it up so loud that the house shakes? Only you can answer those questions, but just know that the fundamentals of the guitar are the same no matter which you choose. All of the notes are the same, you tune the guitar in the same way, and you can play any song on either of the two. Ultimately, it's up to you. Breaking it down to the basics, an acoustic guitar has a thicker and sometimes wider body. Now, that doesn't always mean heavier. Most electric guitars are what we call a solid body guitar, meaning that there is no space inside that body. An acoustic is comprised of a top, a back, and sides with all of that space inside the guitar, of course, where your pick falls into. This results in a much lighter instrument. And that construction of an acoustic guitar is what allows the guitar to sound the way it does, when you play, the sound comes from inside the body and is projected out from the sound hole, which is this area right here. Fender produces many different shapes and sizes of acoustic guitar, from a parlor size, which is the smallest, all the way up to a dreadnought, which is one of the largest. So if you do go with acoustic, you do have options on finding a size that works for you. This guitar I have here is a Fender CD60, and the D stands for dreadnought. Some styles of music that are associated with acoustic guitar include pop, folk, country, bluegrass, hip hop, and blues. Acoustic guitar has made its way into all sorts of popular music. Singer-songwriters are almost always seen performing with an acoustic guitar. It's easy to travel with and ready to go whenever inspiration strikes. As I mentioned up top, you can buy your acoustic guitar, take it home, and start playing right away without needing anything else. No cables, no amp, no pedals. But having said that, there are also options for acoustic guitars that have built-in electronics so you can plug it into an amp or a recording device. We call those acoustic electric guitars, like the Fender CD60SCE and the Redondo models. So now let's talk about electric guitar and how it created a revolution of new players and new ways to make sound and music. Rock, blues, heavy metal, punk, you name it. Electric guitars are a bit easier on your fingers because they have lighter strings than an acoustic. Electrics also sit closer to your body since they have a thinner body than the acoustic guitar. <laughs> of sound, and if you're worried that electric might be too loud, you could always practice with headphones if your amp has a headphone output, or simply practice without the amp. 
The neck on electric guitars are normally a little thinner and easier to play as well, but Fender also has many acoustic guitars with electric guitar size necks. So again, you have options there. At the heart of an electric guitar, whether it be a Stratocaster, Jazzmaster, or this Telecaster, are what makes a guitar electric. The pickups, the volume and tone controls, the pickup selector, and the output jack. When we talk about pickups, it's usually either a single coil or double coil, which we also call humbucking. A single coil gives you a brighter and more clear tone, while a humbucking pickup gives you a louder and bigger sound because, well, a humbucking pickup is two single coil pickups wired together. Let's hear both and compare. Other features or functions of an electric guitar that might influence someone to go the electric route are things like a tremolo or vibrato bridge, which allow you to raise and lower the pitch of the guitar. And with this guitar, I can get five different sounds with the five-way pickup selector switch. More if you alter the volume and tone knobs. You can go from a beautiful, clean blues tone all the way to a screaming lead tone when you select the bridge pickup and turn on the distortion. Consider these things in making your final decision. What kind of music do you want to play? What are your goals for guitar? Writing? Recording? Hobby? What guitar feels comfortable in your hands? Can you be loud or do you need to be mindful of the volume level? Do I need both? Somewhere in there, you'll find your answer and I wish you luck on your journey. For more information and guidance, check out fender.com forward slash beginners and thanks for watching.